Good evening, good afternoon, good morning, depending on where you're hearing us from. We are here again with another information and this one is the next level. Yes, everybody saw the viral video yesterday that they were bringing down Nigeria flag and then replacing it with Biafra flag. Yes, it has got to that. And now the video I have for you is that the list of all the Igbo saboteurs they will be given global embarrassment for the fact that they've given Igbo's national and global embarrassment they will be listed out all of them are running kitty kitty katakata but it will not end there mm -mm. no all these young men Biafra liberation army esn your work has started all the saboteurs must go down they must go down because their living is our slavery. If they die, we will be free. That is the that is the major thing. So everybody, Dick, Tom, and Harry, should be on the move to make sure that saboteurs are brought down. Let me leave, leave this video, and you will know what I'm talking about. Thank you. It's just the beginning. All the evil governors and the politicians convey their sins against. Us or to the confess their sins against the evils, they will never, never have peace in their lives. They will never, never have peace in their life. I've said it before all the money, five Jaffa and a Bute, Ole Lendibo, or I put if I get so good, they find no one. Look at the way they displace us at our project. So whoever tells you that the problem of evil man is a civil war, is a liar. We civil war. The governors are very greedy. The governors are very desperate for power without consideration for evil interests. Eh? We civil war. Was it not after the civil war that our late hero Nandi Azikiwe contested the presidency under the MPP with a flag as his as, uh, as his vice? Was it not after the civil war that Amiru Kanu contested the presidency? Under the PRP, with an Igbo man, Ex-Mazi uh, S.G. Koko, as his vice. Was it not after the civil war that Alaji Wazir Ibrahim of GMPP contested the presidency with an Igbo man, Dr. B. Yuzeribe, as his vice president? Eh? So, or was it not after the civil war that our own brother, Dr. Les Ekwe, became the vice president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria? And even a new member became the, uh, the speaker, Federal House of Reps, even during the military junta, military regime. Was it not an evil man, Commodore Bitukiwe, that was next to the military president at IBB? So whoever that tells you that the uh, problem of evil man is the civil war is a liar, a complete liar. These governors and politicians are the problem of the evil man. I wonder how these politicians sleep at night after this recent national embarrassment and disgrace of Igbos, a thing that has never happened in Igbo land before. Come to think of it, the Igbos have lost virtually everything. The Igbos have not a president. The Igbos have not a vice president. The Igbos have not a senior president. 
Demons are not the speaker. Demons are not the second to the federal government. Demons have lost the chief justice. Demons have lost the idea of police. Demons have lost the military chiefs. Army, nephew, Air Force. Demons have lost the DSS. Demons have lost the EFCC. I can go on and on and on. Demons have lost their child, everything because of these greedy politicians. Eh? Eh? So our governors are better governors. Yes. Our governors are here <laughs> playing gods in their respective states. They will win all the local government elections in their states. They will win all the councilorship elections in their states. They will win all the elections controlled uh, under them in their states. But go to Abuja. <laughs> go to Abuja. See how they fall like a pack of cars without a single uh, position of honor for the Hebrews. This nonsense must stop. I said this nonsense must stop. Look at, what, look at how, how, how the country is being run. After a person job, or see by job. After a person job now with Tinibu. In the north, after Yaradua, Sambo, after Sambo Buhari, and now Shetima. Um, uh, after Jonathan in the south, 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 after Jonathan, Nana Pabio, <laughs> and so we have politicians. And we say we have politicians. Eh? I say, I, 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 I'm pained, I'm so much pained. So it was an arm, an arm spectators in their own country. You was an arm spectators in their own country. We are no more like second class citizens in Nigeria. We are now tenth class citizens in our own country. And our so called governors and so called frontline politicians are there uh, moving, uh, feeling unconcerned. You see? I have my call on all the organizations in Nigeria and diaspora to come together. We need to come together. Oh. We need to do something. And urgently too about this dangerous situation and think of what to do and stop this national embarrassment. Eh? But thank God we have database of all organizations in Nigeria, Igbo organizations in Nigeria and diaspora. We are contacting them. And I thank God, we started since last three years compiling the, the names of all Igbo saboteurs. And we shall send them all the names of all the Igbo saboteurs to all the Igbo organizations in Nigeria or in our diaspora to publish them in their platforms for global disgrace and documentations. Yes, so my, my brother, you have just nailed it. I know everybody is uncomfortable. Yes, it has got to the neck of every dick, Tom and Harry. No more hiding place. We have seen it all. And we cannot continue to keep quiet. Because the more we keep quiet, the worse they become. And hence, yes, they don't have return. They don't know how to return from their original state. Then we will cut them on our ways and halfway. That's just the truth. Thank you very much. I wanted to share this very video. Like it and uh, make it go viral. Thank you very, very much.